installing Wonderware InTouch 10.1. Uh, we're going to install that today along with the Orchestra IDE. If you haven't already put your disk in, then select Auto Run. You can look at all your prerequisites. Install the prerequisites. Go ahead and install your prerequisites. Okay, now the prerequisites have been met. Select next. Now we're on the Wonderware in Touch install setup. Select next. Accept. Next. We're going to install the Symbol Factory. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put all these other features in here. We won't need any of this. Unless you want it, you can install it. We won't need the demos. We'll just leave the one demo. Select next. Alright, we're not going to create a local account. We're going to go ahead and use the one that is logged in. Select next. We're going to want to select next again. You can scroll through the list here, see what all you're going to be installing. Select next, and now you'll be installing your software. Okay, now that Wonderware in Touch has successfully installed, make sure you have the application server checked. We're going to select finish. Now we're going to do this after we install this. So go ahead and grab your application server disk out of the box. And we're going to go ahead and put disk drive. We're going to go ahead and open up this. We're going to select it right here. We're going to select OK. We're going to select continue. install the prerequisites. Okay, all the prerequisites are met. Select next. We're going to install the application server. We're going to accept. We're going to select next. We're going to install everything that we need. That's fine. We're not installing this on a server. We're installing it on a desktop. We're going to select next. Now we can go ahead and select finish and we're going to launch the application. Alright, I guess we're going to go ahead and restart first. Alright, now that the computer booted back up, we need to install the license. So you want to grab your disk with your license on it and put it in your CD drive. And we'll go to Wonderware. We're going to open up Wonderware. We'll go to Common, License Utility. Go to File, Install File License. We're going to go to the drive where you have it. We're going to select it. We're going to select open. And now we have it installed. So we can close this out. Now we can go over 
and go to Wonderware, and we can launch our Orchestra IDE. Alright, now if you set everything up correctly during the SQL Server install, when you go to install the application server, it will automatically set everything up for you and get it going as long as you added your current user and your passwords are the same. If for some reason you installed that, went home, come back, you had to change your password, it's an easy uh, way to change it. Let's go to all programs, go to Wonderware, go to common, and then you would go to change network account. And here you would change your password. So we're gonna. Look, so now that everything started, we want to go ahead and start a new galaxy. And it's gonna be on the on this computer. We're gonna call the galaxy training. We're gonna call the galaxy training. And we're gonna build this against an in touch instead of a server. So base in touch, so that we're just going to make a base in touch program or project for a standalone station. Select create. It's creating the galaxy, storing all the information using your SQL server, creating database. It takes a few minutes to get set up. Sorry about the background noise. Okay, that's 100% completed. Select close. Now we're in the galaxy named training and we want to connect to it. Alright. So we're going to go down here, right click, we want a, a new derived template, we're going to call this training as well, and we want to validate it, succeeded, okay, everything's fine, so we'll double click it, it's going to open up this, for, so we're going to create a new in-touch application, select next, we can leave it as training and give it a description. Select next. All right, now that we open, now that it opened the InTouch window maker, we'll do a quick one showing you uh, some of the, the orchestra graphics. We'll make a new screen. We'll just label it main. And no size controls, no title bar. And that should be an okay size. Now let's make the size a little bigger. 900. The height will do 900. There we go. A little big, but it'll it'll be fine for now. So let's do a cut. Just we're gonna insert some orchestra graphics. Just do a start stop station, and we'll just use internal memory bits. So I'll double click the emblem right here. This pops up your browser from the Galaxy. And we want a, a button, and we will use. Eh, let's go down to switches instead. So we'll open up the switches. We'll use a rocker switch. It's fine with me. Select OK. Oops. Edit. These are vector graphics, so you can resize them, and they won't distort. Look a little funny, wider or shorter, but. Now we'll go ahead and we'll add one more. And we're going to use an indicator light. Let's just use a simple one. We'll use a green light. Select OK. Go up here. So now what's different is we're going to double click. And we're going to give it a value. So the value, we'll give it a new name. Uh, let's call it PB. So 
select enter. Now we need to define it. And we're going to use the memory discrete. Select OK. And select save. And we'll hit close. Same thing here. Select value. We're going to select PB. We already made it. So if we change this value to true, then the light will blink while it's on. And right now it'll be a dim uh it'll be a it'll be excuse me. When it turns true we'll have a bright green and when it's false it will be dark. Let's just select OK. And we'll go ahead and we'll just run it. See how the light's dark? We'll turn the rocker switch on. And now the light's green. Just a little, a little fun with uh, the graphics. Like I said, we're not connecting anything. I just wanted to walk through the install and the uh, first start to get you going. Go back to development here. Later we'll have more tutorials on setting up screens and communicating with items. But those will be in later videos. I hope this tutorial helped you install your Wonderware application with your Orchestra IDE. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe so you can stay in tune with the newest tutorials coming out.